Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Scott, and today I'm going to be painting a Chaos Knight. I'm going to be painting this in the House Herbatrax colors, or at least my adaptation of those colors. Now, you'll notice I don't have the whole knight here on the screen, and that's because I've decided to split this video into two parts, just so that it wouldn't get too long, so that I could give the proper amount of focus to the details of this model. So let's go ahead and dive into how I painted this model. Now to get this model ready for painting, I've primed it with Lead Belcher Spray Primer from Citadel. You'll also notice that I've kept this in several sub-assemblies. When you paint a model this large, you want to make sure you keep it in lots of sub-assemblies so that you can focus on the details on each piece, and so that you can get to them with your brush. Now that we have our model primed, we're going to begin by taking a Thonian camo shade. We're going to wash this over the entire model, or at least all the metal parts. You don't have to do this on the armor panels. And this is going to give the metal an aged and old look. It's going to make it look worn. It's also going to help it blend into the green colors that we're going to do on our armor panels later. Now once that's dried, we're going to dry brush the entire model using Necron Compound. And you can decide how heavy you want to go with this based on how shiny you want the model to be or how dirty and aged you want it to look. Now with that all done, we're going to use Baneblade Brown to base coat the upper leg panel on each leg. Now if you look at the box art on Knights, you'll notice that this is usually done in a different color, this, this panel. It's usually not a metallic color, it's usually matte. I've chosen tan because it complements the green that I want to do on the armor of my knight. Once that's dried, we're going to take Agrax Earthshade and we're going to wash this over those panels we just painted with the tan. You want to get a nice, smooth, even coverage. You don't want to let this pool up too heavily on the flat surfaces because that is going to look out of place once it dries. Now once that is dried, we're going to use Rakarth Flesh, and we're going to dry brush this over those panels. This is going to give it a dusty look, and it's going to help contrast the darker areas from the lighter areas on the model. It's also going to pop out our edges for us so that we don't have to manually edge highlight those. Now we're going to take Abaddon Black. We're going to use this to paint. Um, on the model there are these panels that look like they're covering vents or reactors on the, the night. And there are a handful of these on the legs and on the arms and just throughout the model. So make sure you take your time and figure out where they're all located. Now once that black is dried, we're going to use Dawnstone to dry brush over those black parts. It's going to make it look weathered, it's also going to catch the edges and highlight them for us, so that we don't have to go through and take more time to highlight them in more detail later on. Now with that all done, we're going to take Balthazar Gold. We're going to paint this on many different spots on the model. We're going to pick out all of the pipes that have the kind of ring patterning in them. They're on the body, they're on the legs, they're all over the place. This is perhaps the second most abundant color we use in this stage of the project. We're also going to paint this color on the smoke stacks that come out of the back of the model. When we do this, we're just going to be careful not to get it in all the holes where the smoke actually comes out of the smoke stack. Now we're going to take Mephiston Red, we're going to paint this in the eyes on the front of the knight. We're also going to pick out any of the wires on the model, or any details that we think could look like a wire on the side of the knight. You'll also notice there's these big ones under the head that we've picked out in this color. Now we're going to take Agrax Earthshade, and we're going to paint this over all of the copper areas and the red areas we just painted.
Once we've allowed that shade to dry, we're going to use Scorax Bronze. We're going to pick out the details, or rather the flat surfaces, on the smokestacks. We're not painting this all over the place. We're leaving any of the spots where we approach the edge of the panels, or the holes on the panel, we're going to leave in the darker color. We're also going to paint this on the joint between the hip and the leg. Now with that all done, we're going to take Evil Sun Scarlet and we're just going to put this in the eyes. We're going to paint this not all the way up to the edge of the eye, and this is going to give us a glowing effect in the eye. Now we're going to take Wild Rider Red and we're going to do the same thing, but we're not going to go as far as we did with the previous color. We're just going to put a dot in the center of each eye. And like I said before, this is going to start to make the eye look like it's glowing. If you wanted, you could go a step further and put a white dot in the middle of that dot that you just did. But I chose not to. With the eyes all done, we're going to take Retributor Armor. And on each joint of the leg, there are these bolts that kind of serve as the center piece of each joint. We're going to paint the most raised surfaces on these with this gold color. But we're not going to go all the way up to the edges because we want to leave some contrast between the gold and copper parts. And once that's done, we're going to take Stormhost Silver. We're going to paint this on each of the support bars that is at the base of the leg. There are a couple other bars like this across the model, and we're going to go ahead and paint those as well. And this is a really great silver color. It gives a very chrome look to the model. Once that's dried, we're going to take Seraphim Sepia. We're going to shade this around the base of each of these bars where they make contact with the other metal. This is meant to give the appearance of fresh oil that's being used to help those pieces move. Now we're going to take Dark Reaper. We're going to paint this tube that's up by the head of the model. In fact, we're going to go ahead and paint all of the tubes that aren't either red or copper already near the head of the model. Now with that done, we're going to use more gas bone. And we're going to pick out the side of the face panel that is designed to look like a skull. We're going to paint that with this color. There are also a handful of skulls spread across the model, and we're going to pick those out at this time as well. We're not going to pick out the ones on the shield plate, because we are going to be painting the shield plate another color. Now once that's done, we're going to take Contrast Skeleton Horde and we're going to wash this over all of the white skull bone areas that we've painted on the model. This is going to shade them down and give it the appearance of aged bone that is old and starting to turn kind of a brown color. Once that shade is dried, we're going to take Wraith Bone. We're going to highlight all of the raised surfaces on all of the skulls across the model. And we might do a few coats in some spots to make the brighter surfaces pop more. And once that's done, we're going to take Corax White. We're going to paint this on the back. There is a panel missing that is exposing part of the plasma reactor, or at least I interpret it to be like a plasma reactor. So we're going to paint this with white so that we can use a contrast paint after this to make it look like it's glowing. So now we're going to take Contrast Talazar Blue. And I've watered this down a little bit, just with some basic water. And I'm painting this all over that area, and I'm letting it pool really heavily in the recesses. Now I'm not going to show you how I do the armor, because we're going to save that for the next video. With that, we've reached the stopping point for this video. 
Thank you so much for watching today. If you've enjoyed this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. And then go ahead and comment and let me know what you think of this format. Do you like having your videos as one long video? Or do you enjoy the two shorter video format? Let me know what you think. Thank you again for watching. Have a great day. And we'll see you in the next one.